Welcome back everyone, this is RB Hoops here, and today we're gonna to be going over, according to data, the best three-point contest contestants from the NBA All-Star three-point contest. Just like we did with the dunk video this week, we are going to be ranking every person that's ever participated in the three-point contest, and I'll be going over what the data says the top 10 three-point contestants are, starting from number 10, going all the way to number one. And as a heads up, this is video number two out of three going over the GOAT of each of the big three events at the All-Star Game. So if you haven't seen the dunk contest one, I definitely recommend you watching that and then tune in later this week for the overall All-Star Game GOAT. So when it comes to ranking these players, there's a few categories we looked at. We looked at their points percentage, which is their total score out of their total possible score that they got in the event. Uh, we have to remember that each event, there's different possible scores with the original events only having uh, six points per rack, where now today you can have a bonus rack where you can get up to 10 points. You have the Mountain Dew Starry Shots. And so just to even out the playing field, we are looking at percentage. We're also looking at the number of events they participated in, the number of wins they had, and as well as their overall win percentage. At number 10, we have Kyrie Irving. Although a lot of us don't really think of Kyrie Irving as a three-point specialist, we think of him more for his handlings and his layup package. He is a great three-point shooter. He participated in four events, winning one of them for an overall win percentage of 25%. Also, while he did participate in the events, he made about 68% of his possible points, which is one of the highest to ever play in the three-point contest. And out of our top 10, he actually does have the highest. Kyrie Irving finishes with a score of 5.4. At number nine, we have Dale Ellis. Dale is one of the OG three-point shooters of the league. He shot an impressive 40% from three overall throughout his career, and at one point actually shot 46% from three in a season. At the All-Star Game, he participated in seven events and did actually win one, but has the lowest win percentage of 14% out of our top 10. Dale finishes with a score of 5.7. At number eight, we have 90s three-point shooter, Jeff Hornacek. Jeff participated in four events, winning two of them. During his events, he didn't put up the most impressive numbers, but was always able to put up high scores when they counted. Jeff finishes with a score of 6.3. At number seven is the only big man to make his list, and honestly, I'm very surprised that he made it at all. It's Carl Anthony Towns. Kaz only participated in one event, but in that one event, shot an impressive 64% as far as possible points attained and he did win the event. It'll be interesting to see how he does in this next three-point contest. Right now, he is not projected to do well, but based off of these rankings, I'm gonna consider him as a sleeper pick. So if you're out there wanting to bet, uh, I'd throw a few dollars on Carl Anthony Towns. Cat finishes with a score of 6.6. .6. At number six, we have Mark Price. Mark Price participated in three events and won two of them, scoring a possible 130 out of 210 possible points. For his career, Mark shot over 40% from the three-point line and at one point shot almost 49% in a single season. Similar to Dale Ellis, he's one of the OG three-point shooters of the league and was definitely a threat if you ever left him open. Mark has a total score of 7.9. At number five, we have one of my favorite three-point contest shooters of all time, Peja Stoyakovich. I remember as a kid growing up in the early 2000s, anytime you shot a three, you would always shot Peja. A lot of kids today probably don't know who he is, but he's definitely one of the OG three-point shooters in NBA history. Peja participated in five events and actually won only two of them, but made it to the finals three times. Throughout his attempts, he scored about 62% of the possible points and was known to catch fire throughout these events, which made him so much fun to watch. Peja has a final score of eight points. At number four, we have another two-time winner, Jason Capono. Jason Capono is one of those random NBA players, yeah, I'm gonna say it, who was an amazing three-point shooter. If you look at his stats on Basketball Reference or online, he never really had a great career. He wasn't in the league that long, but when it comes to the three-point contest, he won in back-to-back -back years, shooting an amazing 66% during the contest time. And like I said, it was enough for him to win two times. Jason has a total score of 8.2, and enough to put him as number four. At number three, we have the GOAT of three-point shooting, not necessarily the contest, but Stephen Curry. Steph participated in seven events and surprisingly only won two. I definitely had to fact check my numbers to make sure I got that right. Um, but often Steph Curry just didn't have what it takes to go all the way to the end. He shot an amazing 
points percentage because there are several rounds if you go ahead and watch him on YouTube where he absolutely caught fire, scoring over 30 points in one of his rounds. Steph has an overall score of 9.3. At number two, we have someone that you probably don't know, but is definitely a legend in the three-point contest. At number two, we have Craig Hodges. For his career, Craig shot exactly 40% from three. Interesting enough, Hodges came into the league not being a three-point shooter, shooting just above 20% in his first two years from behind the arc. But after year three, he started to catch fire and that fire stayed constant throughout the rest of his career. Similar to Ellis, Hodges is one of the OG three-point contestants, participating in a record-setting eight events and actually winning three of them. Although his percentages weren't that great, he always did enough to win. And if you're in the event eight times, you're, you're bound to win a few, right? Craig Hodges ends with a total score of 10.8. And at number one, we have Larry Bird with a score of 11.1. .1. Larry Bird was a three-point contest first winner and second winner and third winner. He participated in only three events and he ended up winning all three of them. I think he had he said enough was enough and wanted to let someone else get a chance, which is pretty fair if you ask me. Larry Bird was so cocky that in his final three-point contest, he decided to just not take his warm-up jersey off. He decided to keep it on to give everyone a chance. And when it came down to it, Larry magic happened. Over adjusting, he's come up short, and then he's all of a sudden throws it a little bit long. He certainly doesn't have that normal bird rhythm going for himself. He does not. At 25 seconds remaining, he has only seven, has to be 15. That's eight. Make it nine. And 10. At 11, as we're counting. 13. Huge rack that time for Bird. He's still got to drop one here quickly. 14. This is a tie for the money. Yo! So what do you guys think? Did the data get it right? Let me know below in the comments if you think someone else should be in the top 10. But until next time, I'll see you at the start of the next quarter.